Join us on Patreon and become part of our journey to uncover history's untold stories. Your support helps us create in-depth content, bring hidden narratives to life, and keep history alive for everyone. The annals of history are often shaped by the dominant narratives of those in power, leaving many extraordinary figures in the shadows. One such figure is William King, an African-American intellectual whose contributions to physics and mathematics were whispered about in academic circles but never given the spotlight they deserved. A theory has circulated for decades, igniting controversy and intrigue. Did a black man influence or even teach Albert Einstein, one of the greatest scientific mind in history? While concrete evidence remains elusive, the connections and historical circumstances surrounding this question compel us to explore the forgotten genius of America and the barriers that prevented his recognition. The late 19th and early 20th centuries were a time of immense racial discrimination in the United States. The contributions of black scientists and scholars were often erased, minimized, or outright stolen. While the education system excluded black Americans from prestigious institutions, a network of self-taught scholars and black universities flourished. Historically, black colleges and universities, HBCUs, became the intellectual havens where black minds could thrive despite segregation. However, the exclusion from mainstream academia meant that even the most brilliant black scholars were kept in the margins. William King, whose exact records have been lost in time, is believed to have been one of those brilliant minds. Through oral accounts and scattered historical references, King was described as an exceptional mathematician and physicist whose ideas were radical for his time. He was reportedly known for his mastery of relativity, quantum mechanics, and non-Euclidean geometry, fields that Einstein revolutionized in the early 20th century. If these accounts are true, King was not only ahead of his time, but also someone who could have very well influenced Einstein's thinking. Albert Einstein, a German-born physicist who reshaped the world's understanding of physics with his theory of relativity, was an open advocate for racial justice. He was known to have deep respect for African-American scholars and even supported black civil rights causes in America. In 1931, he visited Lincoln University, the first degree granting HBCU in the U.S., where he spoke out against racism and met black intellectuals who had long been ignored by white academia. But did he have a direct mentor or influence from an African-American scientist before his rise to fame? Some theories suggest that Einstein, during his early years, had access to black intellectual circles through German expatriates and underground academic groups that exchanged ideas in ways formal institutions would not allow. Since many of his groundbreaking works in relativity were published in the early 1900s, the possibility exists that he had encountered non-traditional sources of knowledge. While mainstream history does not explicitly link Einstein to William King, speculation arises from missing records and the institutional suppression of black intellectual achievements. Some scholars believe that King, operating outside the racist academic structures of his time, developed mathematical theories that prefigured Einstein's work. Given Einstein's documented friendships with African-American scholars later in life, the possibility of earlier encounters remains a tantalizing mystery. The systematic erasure of black contributions to science is not an isolated case. Many black inventors and scientists had their work stolen, uncredited, or attributed to white colleagues. Take Granville Woods, an African-American inventor whose work in electrical engineering was often claimed by white engineers, or Percy Julian, whose chemical innovations were downplayed in favor of white counterparts. In the case of William King, if he did contribute to the foundation of relativity or advanced mathematical theories, his work could have been intentionally buried. The academic world of the early 1900s was aggressively exclusionary, and the idea of a black physicist advancing one of the most complex scientific paradigms of modern times would have been dismissed outright by white scholars. Even if William King's influence on Einstein remains an open question, the broader truth is undeniable. Black intellectuals made monumental contributions to physics and mathematics despite immense barriers. Elmer Imes, one of the first African Americans to earn a PhD in physics, made significant advancements in quantum mechanics. Katherine Johnson, a black mathematician, was instrumental in NASA's early space missions, using mathematical calculations that helped launch humans into orbit. 
These figures represent only a fraction of the black scientific minds who persevered against systemic racism. If William King did exist and was indeed a mentor to Einstein in some capacity, his story would not be an anomaly, but rather a tragic example of the many black geniuses history has ignored. The question of whether a black man taught Einstein is less about one man and more about the broader suppression of black scientific contributions. William King, real or obscure by history, symbolizes the countless brilliant minds whose contributions to humanity were buried under the weight of racial prejudice. Einstein himself recognized that genius knows no racial boundaries, and if he were alive today, he would likely support efforts to unearth the hidden figures who contributed to the very foundation of modern science. History is written by those in power, but truth has a way of resurfacing. The time has come to re-examine the legacy of black scientists and ensure that their contributions are no longer footnotes in the annals of history, but central to the narrative of human progress.